Oh my god. Is it amazing to be just a console like enthusiast, whatever you want to call yourself, a console fan. So hyped up for this generation coming up, guys. This is some kind of last minute breaking news. Even though you can clearly see the man who broke this news to me while I was waking up, as you can see from my comment, incredible news to see right after waking up. Guys, we actually have some more confirmed and consistent specifications regarding the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X, up to this point, has stuck with the narrative of being, of saying, not being, of saying, 12 teraflops, variable rate shading, hardware accelerated, direct X ray tracing, quick resume for multiple games, and smart delivery. Guys, this whole list we have been seeing throughout the whole year up to this point. Consistency is key in this game this year. This generation has definitely been a little, um, you know, not, not to say rough, but Xbox is definitely being a lot more aggressive this time around because they clearly saw how much of a mess they made of their whole, like, their whole platform in 2013 by trying to bundle the Kinect with the Xbox One, pricing it at $500, and just overall completely ruining everything. But right now they're trying their best to just reshape the idea uh, and the perception of what people had of Xbox or have had these past couple of years. No games. Underpowered. Yeah, it was underpowered. It basically had no games too honestly the xbox's library was kind of stale um it was all right you know you had some games here and there that were kind of fun ps4 definitely came out strong this year definitely shows with the exclusive they had all the games they released and it was just a good generation for them and i'm honestly proud because myself i am not just one leaning towards the other I love Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, and a PC. I have all of them, and definitely regard each one as being incredible, because I love playing video games. This is just something that most people don't do. They like leaning towards one thing, and just sticking with it, which I completely respect and, you know, understand, because not everybody can get everything, and just have everything. But anyways, um... New Phil Spencer actually just posted this on Xbox Wire, right here, what you can expect from its from Xbox the next generation of gaming, and as you can see, February twenty fourth, two thousand and twenty at six a.m. Six a.m. I'm not gonna go through every little detail here. I can post this link in the description below and have you guys read up on it because this is official information. This is not leaked. This is not 4chan users, this is not Reddit users, this is not Twitter, this is not just one-off accounts, this is official from Xbox themselves. As you can see, the same things I listed off before, a superior balance of power and speed. It talks about the processor, which we know is AMD's latest Zen 2 RDNA 2 architectures, which is beautiful to hear confirmed again. Again, this 12 teraflops of GPU performance. It's consistent. Again, it's still up to 12. That's what they're targeting, and that's what they're going to deliver, hopefully. I mean, hope I say hopefully because even though they're stating it here, you never know. But still, I'm pretty sure they're sticking with that and delivering upon that promise. VRS. Um, hard, hardware. This is not software. This is hardware accelerated ray tracing. Some of the things you would see with the new RTX uh, lineup of graphics cards from NVIDIA being in an Xbox is just amazing. Immersion at an inst or in an instant. SSD storage, of course, we know that is coming to both consoles. Apparently, there are rumors that the PlayStation is definitely going to have the faster storage this time around, which um, honestly, I wouldn't be too, too uh, disappointed in or surprised because... 
you know, there's always more pros than cons or more cons than pros in each console. Each console is definitely going to be more, is going to be better in some areas than the other one. And that's totally respectable. It's just how it is. Quick resume is actually something new we've just been informed of, or at least I've been informed of, have not seen anything about this. Um, it's a feature that lets you continue multiple games from suspended state almost instantly, returning you to where you were and what you were doing without waiting through long loading screens. So that's pretty cool to hear. Uh, DLI, optimizing latency, which is pretty cool. And they have HDMI 2.1 that um, I do think supports 8K. I'm not sure if it's at 60 frames per second, but it's either at 8K 30 because the one or two people out there that have an 8K display um, can actually, you know, handle everything. Because this 8K is uh, very new. Even 4K is pretty new. It's not an adopted standard anywhere. But 4K is definitely significantly becoming a lot more um, available to the vast majority of the population. Uh, you see some Black Friday deals recently where it was like 4K TVs for like $400, $300, 500 So it's definitely a lot more affordable compared to it back in 2013 when you can get a 4K TV for like $1,000. And that was like the base standard. 120 frames per second support. That's pretty cool. Uh, four generations of gaming support. 360, original Xbox, Xbox One. That's very, very good to hear. Smart delivery. This is also something new I haven't heard of, but it's pretty cool that it's coming. This technology empowers you to buy a game once and know that whether you are playing on Xbox One or Series X, you are getting the right version of the game on whatever Xbox you're playing on. So that's very cool. Doesn't matter what you're on. Your library is just going to carry over um, seamlessly, I'm assuming. Hopefully. Xbox Game Pass. Uh, Halo Infinite is also included at the launch. That's pretty cool. And right here, it's a closing statement. A generation with players at the center. It's a nice little uh, message at the end. But that is all I have to cover for today, guys. This new Xbox Wire article that just uh, published today. Uh, definitely amazing news to see. More information regarding the next generation of consoles. Um, hopefully we honest, I honestly hope we see something from PlayStation soon because I'm, I'm really curious to see the design of it, the controller, um, even though there are leaks of it supposedly out there, I don't really want to, you know, get my hopes up in regarding to those leaks. I kind of want to see official statements and in regards to what they're going to deliver, uh, definitely hope that they bring something amazing to the table as well, because I want both, you know, both parties to succeed. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to see some incredible video games this next generation. Hopefully everyone can hop on that and uh, definitely get in tune with the next gen um, because it's coming fast, very fast. All right, guys, that's enough for today. Hopefully you stick up to date for more um, next generation news and I'll see you soon. Peace out.